Hello, maniacs. At the risk of sounding like a cookie cutter, Merry Christmas. I'm looking like a cookie cutter because Brad made me wear the hat. Did you put it to a uh, public? I did. Something I didn't do right. Yeah, because yeah, it usually gets shit away. Right, yeah, yeah, turn it off. Oh, man. Okay, I think my press is usually not live chat, right? Yeah, there you go. That should work. Hey. Oh, there they are. Now they're in. Thanks, Noah. Tom P. Is that Tom Platts? Don't forget Brad. He's here too. <laughs> of course, I got to say, I can't indulge. You got a two for one. My story in the uh, in Instagram didn't load yet, so they don't know that you're up. <clears throat> All right. Well, maniacs, I got to get a workout in too, so right, we'll I'll be able to do a little bit of. Talk to them for a minute because I got to take a shit real fast. All right. Brad will be back in a second, <laughs> so I'm going to answer some questions bet much better right now before I start the intensity. Thank you, Sarkis. The weather's perfect. 60 degrees, no humidity, sunshine. And I hope it that way for tomorrow's fight. 11 a.m., Spanish River Park, Boca Raton. Those of you that can be here, let's do it. Someone will film it. Question is who at this point? Some of the guys are working. Thank you. Thank you, Ethan. I appreciate that. Is Big J, Big Gay gonna show up? We'll see. I won't believe it till I see it, but I will be there. I'm also bringing a special guest and another guy, special guest, so. We're already confirmed to be there. Mary Husmus. I expect Rob and Big Lou to be there. Last time with the tranny, Jared? I can't even, I would say before Memorial Day. Well before. Dusty, the fight is on and it will be filmed. Anybody care to give any pre-fight predictions? Let's hear them. Tell me who's going to win and why. I want to see the wisdom of the maniacs. Yes, Matthew, we'll be there early. You want to come early? I'll be there a little bit after 10, after I get my meal in. So, all fans, maniacs, check it out. At least we'll be there. We got somebody thinking Big J will win via sodomization. J will sit on him. Big J will be hung over. Yes, Steve, that's a good idea. I'll be the biggest freak on wheels. Who needs calves anyway when you got wheels? And just think I can have a nice tan private care nurse to take care of me once I get my legs amputated. Actually, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> but I'll still be a freak, trust me. I ate a ribeye steak. Mac and cheese, a banana, two mandarin oranges, quart of lactose-free whole milk, and a couple of uh, sissy cookies for the sugar, for the carbs, because I got a workout coming. So Brad's going to take over the live while I train calves and arms, and I'll Brad will answer questions. Thank you, Ronaldo. Merry Christmas. Be careful, don't really, don't get it behind like that. You're better off having a girl use her fingers on your anus. Trust me, that's the way to go. I'm not into that sodomization. Steelers shitting the bed is no surprise at all. You can't run an offense like that. You gotta establish a running game. You know, they were very lucky in those first 11 games, extremely. I knew it was gonna fall. We'll see how they do against the Colts tomorrow, or Sunday, but 
you know, is it so let the Browns could possibly win the division. And then, then they got the Browns. Thank you, big dummy. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Tell your aunt I love her too, and we, hopefully we can meet one day. Thank you, Jamie. Commie Canada. By the way, check out Not Another Cookie Cutter Podcast with myself, Leo Rex, Brad, and Meow Man, Andrew Kalora. Great show. It's up now. It was up a few hours ago. Watch it. And by the way, anybody notice Dave Palumbo's latest After Hours? I'm not on there. And he never, he didn't ask me to come on this week. I find that very interesting. What are your thoughts on it? I appreciate everything he's done. I wouldn't say I'm angry with him, but I just want to know the maniac's thoughts on that. Is that a snub? Is it a test? Was something banned? Because the previous one that I did a week before was never uploaded. Yes, Steve, the Aaron Hernandez documentary is fantastic. That's probably true. The COVID since and I might have, I might have gotten banned for that. Well, that's too damn bad. This is freedom of speech, freedom of the press, freedom of religion. Thank you, Brian Castillo. Thank you, Ronaldo. Think it through before you support Israel. I'm not saying go against them, but think about what they're doing. Look at their track record. Is that in the nation's best interest? Our nation? Is that in the world's best interest? <laughs> Eyeliner wearing prick. And who may that be? Thank you, Mint. I haven't talked to Jason in a while. Is that a compliment? You want to shit on me? That's quite an attractive offer. I should have saved the one I just dumped for you. <laughs> well, guess who's here? This fucking deviled egg. She made deviled eggs. Yeah. Oh, ran right through me. Bacon. Don't say that. Delicious. How do we switch this around? All right, get your workout started. What are you doing? You're doing arms, calves. I'm starting off with calves. I've been doing the James Hollings head. Five days a week calf trains. Do it first. Although on leg day, I don't like to do calves before I squat. I'm afraid of the balance issues. See, I got some mirrors too. There's one there. Right, who is the maniac? I don't know where to, don't know where to hang, maniac, up, hang him up. Please divulge who's sending this equipment. I don't know if it's a single entity or is it a group of people or is it different people? But this is outstanding. It's great. Man. This is tremendous. Whoever it is, thank you. Yeah, This absolutely. is great high quality equipment. This yeah, place is turning into this place. Now, man. And look at all the space Brad has over there. Yeah, we'll, this could be the finest. I'd have more space if you're fucking into one of the finest disgusting mattress wasn't ever. in here. And I was looking at, unfortunately, I, I want to say Merry Christmas to the Sanzone family from Louisiana. You know, we lost Jay this year, but sad to say he was going to come down here and make rooms in the back. So we were thinking about having like, you know, a misfit maniac vacation center where you're here, we're filming, we're training, you can live in the back, you can go what out. What are you talking about? People are South moving Florida. here. This is my fucking house. Like dude. a vacation, but <laughs> we were talking Listen, about that. Yeah, I'm glad you're saying, <laughs> you, well, you're offering Brad, people. I mean, you don't have Jay anymore with the home decorating <laughs> advice and this, that, and the other, the landscaping advice. Hey, Ray so. Reynaldo, my beard and tattoos <laughs> make me cool. <laughs> right, like, I'm so cool. This is my fucking house. Like, you're right. Yeah, it's like inviting just, fucking strangers to my yeah. house. Jesus Christ. It's a resort. Yeah, but what I'll start to, getting checks in the mail. I'll be down in the fucking... Once I get this area cleared out, I'm going to throw all your shit over there and then we'll put more right, equipment is that, your, out here. Shit, is that your bike right there with the green yeah how'd you guess <laughs> <laughs> midget head on a midget bike huh. all right get started it's all right some, first thing it's already 3 30. first thing i'm gonna do is hydrate hey look at this lenny come here did you notice what the name is on this fucking thing yeah genova <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances of that i know that's fucking hilarious shocked. 
A Genova. Yeah. Does he have a new line of equipment that we don't know about? I don't know. And thanks again. Who cut the water for you? Uh, Danielle made us thanks, the water Danielle. tank. Somebody, uh, Rob Meister, 392, said, what do you all think about people leaving California and moving out to Texas and Florida? As long as they don't bring their politics with them. What do you think about that? If those states want to go into mass chaos and die, let them do it. They, no, but he's talking about them moving here. Great. You know the flex tax, whoever the state's going to get? They want to screw themselves up, let them do it. What the fuck? I'm sorry. I don't care, it's water. How do you miss your mouth? What are you going to do first? That's what that tranny's telling me, too. How did I miss your mouth? <laughs> and that's what I say. There's that man again, Mom, Zach says. <laughs> but what I do is I lift the floor up because that's all that protein going to waste. <laughs> Get my drift. You lick the floor. You want to help me hang these mirrors? Sure. I'm not sure where to put them yet, though. There's, there's that one. There's this pretty big one over there. And then another little one. So, Brad, I, I can put this higher? No, that's the way it goes. Okay. I told you you're gonna have to crouch down to get in there. This will okay. be fucking great. <laughs> no, 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 Lenny, 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 it's gonna, you have to go in there. Good. No, no, you're not on the, you're not in the pads. Oh. What the fuck? What are you, Jason? Jesus Christ. Step in there, you gotta put those fucking shoulder pads on your shoulders, you jack off. No, Lenny, fucking step into the goddamn thing. Oh. Lenny, you're not all the way in. Put your feet flat on the floor. Right by those. Put your feet flat down. Oh, never mind. Who gives a shit? What the fuck? Look at him. Brian Castillo. Give a shout out Thanks, to Brian. Brian Castillo. Thanks, Brian. He's been a fan since 2014. He's been a freak since 2014. That's right. You, your shoulders are on this. Look, look at me. That's what you're supposed to do. No, be. here. This is where your shoulders go. Hey, that was good. The tension was great. That was not good. Yes, it was. You have to get in here, put your head through this. Not yeah, these smaller guys can get in there. You can get They're in freaks there. freaks like me, that is adequate. Believe me, my calves are pumped. Good fucking God. Do you have trouble sitting on the toilet too? Uh, you have to think about it. You're gonna, die, you're gonna fucking die on the toilet like Elvis. <laughs> what happened to him? <laughs> I don't know. I think he's a pin I think he took a lot of pills. Yeah, of course. A lot of benzos. Yeah. Anyone ever look up that Elvis' last concert in Las Vegas? He's like dripping sweat. <laughs> Fat and sweaty. Yeah, what the fuck? That's Johnny Bravo. That's your boy, that's, Dale. That's no, that's Johnny that's, Southern boy. That's Johnny Bravo's idol. Oh. Yeah. So Dale, you out there? He told me a story the other day. He called the DM and said, oh, Lanny, I shot a deer and it didn't die, and I went out. Lanny, I like how you say that, Lanny. <laughs> he went out and got a knife and finished it off. I said, I'd be more respect if you finished it off with your bare hands. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Somebody texted you, Merry Christmas, Big Lenny. Thank you. No, it was a text that just came through on your phone. Oh, uh, it wasn't my number. Started with 413. I don't know what area code that is. 413? Yeah. Either one. Hmm. Maybe it's a maniac. Maybe. They have your new number? Well, I think it might be the guy from Boston. He's coming down in April. He's bringing the mailman. Oh, okay. So, what so is he driving down? Flying. So he's going to stop in South Carolina? No, he's going to send us tickets. Oh, I got Plus you. going to take us up for uh, Tomahawk. Ribeyes. Nice. At the nicest. Me, you. We're at Okeechobee Steakhouse? 
wherever. What do you think the best steakhouse is, in your opinion, in Palm Beach County? I think Cut 42. Okeechobee Steakhouse is good. Yeah. New York Prime in uh, Boca is very good too. Yeah. Lenny, yeah. Lenny's got them Matarazzo calves. Yeah, the fuck right. Is that? <laughs> well, Doug, I don't know. Speaking of Matarazzo. That's, that's from Brett Henderson. Okay. Thanks, Brett. Actually, Mike Terrazano, they call Mike T. Mikey Tits. He uh, took me to, what is that place they gamble at after I was in the hospital last year? A casino? Yeah, what's the name of that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. What was oh, it? Oh, coconut Creek. Oh, oh, that one? And they had Mik a the Mikasuki one? Yeah, they had a steakhouse in there, and he bought me a $100 ribeye tomahawk. Don't they have that yet? Is that where that Yankee... Uh... Yes. Okay. Yes, the... exactly. Exactly. All right, get in there properly, please. I could just see these things slipping, right? Go all the way in. Keep going. Keep going. Walk forward. Walk forward. Walk forward. Walk. walk forward, man. I can't. I'm a freak. Lenny, just shuffle I'm your fucking feet. I am a freak. You are a freak. The normal people walk forward. <laughs> good fucking God. That's a good tendon, Brad. That's just... What a fucking jackass. <laughs> Come on. You are such a Come fucking on. jackass. I'm Big Lenny. Let's get Big Brownie out here. <laughs> Well, he's over there in Egypt smoking dope. <laughs> I'm here training. <laughs> oh. Oh. Why is Lenny's mattress here? I don't know. Ask him. Because I live here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this is going to be a long full of, workout. Full of cum stains and diarrhea like yours. <laughs> <laughs> You got proof right here. Let's see your mattresses. DM the pictures. <laughs> oh, you filthy blood, urine, diarrhea, saliva, period, secretions. Ez Dilla just donated four ninety nine. Thank you, sir. It's badly needed right now. Hey, why don't you leave a comment? If you're going to drop some money, ask a question, man. I thank you for the bottom of my heart. Bulk cycle starts January 1st, by the way. Oh, that's just one. Look out. Is your heart ready for that? Question is, is Dale Chance ready for that? I don't know. No. What did he tell you? You'll never beat him on a bodybuilding stage, right? Whatever. But I'll, Dale, I'll tell you this. I'll dwarf you, and I'll be more lean than you, and you'll look like a gnat compared to me. Your mom just texted your phone. She said dinner's at 6.30. Would it take you to get here? 25 minutes? Yeah, I actually made it. It's hard to get here, man. Actually, when you guys no, come not. to visit or Lenny stop, gets, Lenny gets lost it's not going to be easy when you want to come up and go through the garbage and stuff or <laughs> try to stalk it. It's not easy to get here. But Brad said, pretty give your best shots. <laughs> don't even go. Don't say that shit. You're such an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> it's... It's hard to find. You've been here a dozen times and you still get lost every time you come out here. Yeah, it's not easy, man, actually. It's well worth it. Not easy. How are the legs? Pumps. Good machine. Tension. Better than the ones at the gym. Pumps? Yes, the pumps. Oh, I thought you said pumps. I was like, pumps was, working what the hell does pumps give a shit for? Is he working on I'm not sure. I didn't ask him. Yeah. Unfortunately, I got to work. I know. Yeah. Oh, well. All right. Reynaldo, another two bucks. Is it normal to Thank fantasize you know. grannies and smoke dope? Absolutely. Normal? There's not. Let me tell you something. Normal is words that they use to describe <laughs> people. Yeah, the they's. You're not normal. When somebody tells you that, and I'm sure many of you have been told that as a young age, laugh it off. Nothing's normal. And there's no such thing as normal. Normal is the same as racist. What do you mean by normal? Normal for what? <laughs> Remember that. So That's another buzzword. <laughs> normal. Uh, Sa Santa Slayer. He's. Will you guys be attending the fight between Jason Mayonnaise and McCuck? <laughs> Jason Mayonnaise. I don't get the correlation. Uh, 
I don't actually masturbate with mayonnaise, which is a possibility. I'm sure you've tried that. No. I mean, I'm a dry... Bone, I bone, it. bone to pick 121. Yeah. Shout out to the Chaldean, Chaldean Mafia who cut house wires. Okay. Who's that? The Chaldean Mafia. I don't know what that is. Somebody said, uh, Brian Castillo again, open the hydrants, release the canines. That's right. <laughs> All right, more predictions on the fight tomorrow. Who's going to win? Why? And is anyone going to place a wager? You can deal with that with Brad. I don't, I, dude, I'm not taking bets for that shit. <laughs> Put me on the hook for that. You guys can go bet amongst yourselves. And what's, why? What strategy? If you were. What's on the line, though? Did, is Jay going to. Delete us. Well, if Jay loses, he'll probably want to delete his social media with how bad he'll get how fucking trolled. How would Jay trolls. lose? That's what I want to know. How, in your opinion, what would be the strategy for Adam to do to beat him? Explain while I do my set maybe, correctly. Maybe get, maybe get a maybe get a, maybe get a. Quit telling me to walk forward. You want me to fall? <laughs> you answered your judgment. What, what do I? Me. What would make McLeod's chances better? You're asking me. Or how would he win? And I'll win next too. Respond to that question, please. Well, why would someone so win? What strategy would you use if you were either? We want to hear it. Well, Adam would need an equalizer, which means he'd probably need a baseball bat or something. <laughs> so, KU says, Lenny, what do you think about of Land Point Nate's new addiction to garbage, cookie cutter, diabetes, food? Well, Nate, when they amputate your legs below the knee, you can blame it on that. You insulin resistance swine, you. <laughs> Keep it up, mate. Keep it up. Is that what you want? Keep it up. Is that what you want? That'll look good with your slanty eyes. Oh, my the God. slanty <laughs> swords on your legs will match. All right, get in there. Fish How face. many more sets? <laughs> One more. <laughs> That's another one. I've been with eating challenges. And he still has the audacity. I should have said stipulation. You never do another one again. What do they call it? The mukbang? Yeah, I don't understand. Release the tape, Nate. You and your girl got a feature in porn. <laughs> she can suck a golf ball through a, a coffee stir. <laughs> and she looked good doing it, trust me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Real good. Nate, you should have never shown that to Lenny. Make a picture of it, Nate. Release the tape, you pinworm. <laughs> Kevin Pereira, coming down with Meow Man in March, April. Don't forget. Is that the guy from Boston? Yes. Kevin Pereira. Yes. Okay, cool. Maniac freak. All right. I expect Nate to be there tomorrow. For sure. Nate, he's in Germany. Hail Nate. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be there in 1938, Nate. Remember that. You'd be taken off to, in a railway car to Auschwitz. <laughs> <laughs> and you ain't gonna be a Holocaust survivor, trust me. What do you think about that, Nate? Are uh, any Germans over there? Take him out in a railway somewhere, please. Oh my God. Get that genetic filth out of that country. <laughs> He's poisoning your pure Aryan blood, just breathing the air. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that Hitler's rolling in his grave, seeing that fish face walking around <laughs> Germany like he owns the place. You, this might get deleted, so be careful. <laughs> I have him. Most one condition: he can be in Germany with a star symbol on his coat that says "fish face." Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you gotta love it. This is just. All right, this is all freaks do. Is, is this your last set on this? This is My painful to watch. Set, last set. All right, good. Why don't you put some more weight on? Why? I mean, why? It's about reps, Brad. All right. Controlled reps. That's all you build calves. <laughs> Most people are born with them, such as Jason Genova. How about some McLeod intensity? <laughs> well, 
Brad, did I do good? Did I break my record? Dude, let's get the metal going. Uh, you're enjoying all his little videos, hey, huh? Get Most my people... eyes. Does that scare people? <laughs> yes. Ah, I'm going to say I'm releasing the beast. Ah. <laughs> Like my speed? Look. <laughs> His short little choppy steps, you like that? The agility. What is he walking around? <laughs> Ten seconds. I broke my record. Uh, <laughs> uh, like that you like that fan speed? Oh man. <laughs> Get the sticks out. Man, you got it down. You've been studying his footage, huh? You're learning a lot. Yes. His, his account's private, though, so not everybody can see what he does. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Uh, you know, those, some guys repost everything now. Bone, Bone to Pick says, Holocaust mukbang at Dutch. Dachau. Dachau. Dachau, okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Uh, I can't say this name, but he said, Lenny, at what point do I ask girlfriend to take a dump? I guess he's at, at what point does he ask his girlfriend to take a dump on him? Well, at any point, but not going to get a good response. What you want to do is be in there when she's in the bathroom and sort of slide your hand under there. Real quickly. Sort of slide your hand under there. Yeah, I had a girl, I asked to do it on me. Oh, jeez. She, she's very disgusting. She said, you're disgusting. <laughs> she's right. <laughs> Have some respect for yourself. That's true. RPZ said, Lenny, can we get a Rick Rude impression? Yes. This is Ravishing Rick Rude, and I'm here to tell you fat, lazy, cookie cutter hedgehogs to tune in to the J Masters Adam McLeod showdown, probably coming up on the, to be seen on the weekend or next week. No, it's tomorrow, 11 a.m. Yeah. Why don't you live stream it from here? From there? I mean, from that's your not a bad from idea. From your phone. Live stream it on your YouTube. Fuck it. And now somebody else say, but that's not a bad idea. Are you going to ref? Who's going to be the ref? No. Uh, I would say Lou. I'll ask him. He'd be the appropriate ref. I think Adam wants his brother Kyle. <laughs> I, I don't think, I don't think he, his brother Kyle should be the ref because Jay's liable to knock him out too. <laughs> Jay, Jay will probably hit him first. I think Jay's... The wind from Jay's punches will knock him out. Brian Castillo again. The only thing Big Jay is good at is rubbing one out to lot lizards and, and burning bridges. <laughs> no, nothing but respect for Lenny and Brad Wolf. Thanks, Brian. Poor Nate. He may be, his ashes may be smoke, maybe going through the chimney somewhere Lenny, in Germany. Tonight. There's no fucking weight on here, Lenny. Uh, just getting a warm up. I want to warm these elbows up today because it's a little chilly. Why are you raising your shoulders so high? What do you mean? You're like, are you trying to do triceps? Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I won't be going to the fight. I have to work tomorrow. And Adam insisted it's 11 a.m. So me and Andrew both won't be able to go. <clears throat> Sandra has to work too. Said if you did it after four, maybe we could, but what are you gonna do? Well, afterwards, my hope is we can all go out together and get a little bite to eat and squash it. Actually, no, well, the way, hey, listen, you might be uh, bringing Jay to the hospital after. You know, the only way Jay's going to the hospital <laughs> is if he doesn't show up, because uh, we're gonna search him out and beat the crap out of him if he doesn't. I'll check out all the local bars in Boca. He better show up. 
<laughs> or he's going to be in a hospital one way or another. Not from the fight, though. <laughs> the owl man sent me a test this morning saying every Christmas in a certain town of Peru, it's called Contenacu. Con, what the Where fuck? people that have grudges during the year, and I'm talking kids, adults, and women, go in the middle of the street and fight it out, and afterwards they drink. No shit. Yeah, and they show two girls punch each other. So that's going to be our version of Katanayuk. I think that's what it's called. Look it up. Katanayuk. Yes, sir. Who told town. you about that? Meow Man sent me a text. It's a certain oh, town in okay. Brazil. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Peru. They fight it out. I've never shown women fight it out. But they have like a grudge to them here, so it's our own version. What do you think of... Blaha. Not much. I haven't heard much about him. Yeah, I didn't, he still does videos. I think the trolls have got to be got scared. Oh, boy. Like I said, God bless the trolls. No matter what they say, most of the time, they're right. And that's how you learn and change from getting your ass handed to you verbally. So that's my opinion. And if the <laughs> somehow get you to lose your job, guess what? I shouldn't be working for a company that has human resources directors like that anyway. They don't even want to get to the bottom of it. They just want to fire somebody because she's a woman and she's got power. Do you think if you were a black man, you'd still have that job? Absolutely not. You think you would? He you would have got fired too? No. If I was a woman, no. Because there's all those girls and nurses have done worse. I've seen it. We the, the, zom the zombieism says, glad to see that maniac Lenny healthy. I guess you too, Brad. How, how about a free cookie cutter tee for a California maniac? Definitely. I don't, I don't have any t-shirts. That's, that's Pomps' department. I'll talk to you. Contact By the Pumps. way, DelrayMisfitsGear.com. <clears throat> Check it out. New line of products. Yeah, Pomps, does not, Pomps doesn't rob us, guys. Contrary to what you also, heard. Also, Big Lenny on Book, book Cameo. Hurry up and get your holiday and especially your New Year's motivation messages. Because I got a lot of them. I got a lot of good things to say. Those Christmas ones are good. You should wear that hat during them. Nohem FM. I can't even say. Hi, Lenny. Is, Hi. is, is Brad born gay? <laughs> well, I think Brad is going to make a retraction on these statements. No. Why are you walking into me? What are you doing? Uh-oh, I'm just getting a plate. Brad's yeah, getting see? excited. He's like, not only is it, what are you doing? It's about time. <laughs> he probably thought I was going to give him a kiss. Lenny wishes I was gay. <laughs> Do you have a grinder page? No. You say that like you're disappointed. <laughs> Although I heard... Guys who want to do the grinder. Why don't you go? They meet up faster than you need if you call 9-11. You'll get a grinder person to Lenny has <clears throat> Lenny has trouble answering his text. He can't deal with one of those sites. There's no way. I'm my own grinder. I go the old fashioned way. <laughs> if I see it, I'm pulling over. If I like it, I'm pulling over. If I see it in the store, I'm pulling over. I don't care who she's with, whatever, how old she is, if she looks Developed, I'm saying something. Many girls, hey, I'm 16, and their mother said she's 16. I said, oh, that's great. Yeah, all right. RPZZZ says, Brad, did the life-size Hitler statue arrive to your house yet? Should be there any day now. I'd like to see it. <laughs> I know you fucking would. Right out front. <laughs> yeah, that's real that's nice. That's a good idea. Yeah. Or even a lawn ornament. I remember in Oakmont, they used to have a black guy holding a lantern. And I guess those are considered, you can't do them now. Brian Castillo, thank you, man. He said he's he headed out the door, always willing to donate to your channels, and thank you for the shout outs. This was my best Christmas gift of 2020. Thanks, Brian, and keep being your own man and thinking through things. And never ever listen to when people say, you're not normal and you're different. That's considered good. The, like the golden rule is, Love your neighbor as yourself, and as long as you're not hurting anybody, 
Give people their space and mind your business. That's right. Mind your fucking business. Right. But that, that's, that's something that's not happening now because everybody thinks they're mask police. They can yell at you. Did you just, are you, what's what? the matter? Your nose running? No. The fucking, it's the snot just fucking drip down your fucking face. Is that turning you on? <laughs> no. Actually, I had a girl, what she spit fuck? a loogie on the grass and I put my finger at it. And no, you it didn't. Up. Oh, Jesus Christ. And she's like, you're disgusting. <clears throat> I said, thank you. And you also don't get sick. So what does that say? Key secret. Guess why you don't get sick? You expose yourself to viruses, your body's going to, bit with your immune system's going to build up a defense to that. They don't tell you that, though. Why do they tell you to come stay in the house who's, so you can get sick? Who's they? The cookie cutter medical <laughs> establishment. Your doctors. That's a money making operation. Absolutely. Everything is. Absolutely. You think they're concerned? They want you to be sick. If people can't figure that out, and then I got people tell me all the time, I asked I'm it on, healthy. I go to my doctor yeah. for a checkup. I asked it on the podcast that Leo, he posted earlier, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, about the vaccines. You see all the celebrities yeah. or Biden or whoever getting yeah. the vaccine. How do you know it's in that syringe? Exactly. You think they're just willing? Go, okay, yep. Let's go inject yeah. it because if they say you need it. Please. Just like when you take a car in to get a free oil change and they tell you all these things are wrong with you. Pay up. Same thing with the doctor. Well, that's the golden rule at those oil change places. Yes. They try to get everybody for at least a hundred bucks. So they'll tell you, oh, 25 bucks for the oil yeah. change. By the time you leave, they'll rack your bill up. You need this, that, no, no. just change well, my there's oil. There's a nice Spanish guy that doesn't do that. Either, too, no, but oh, really good. Delray. It's hard to find Right down out. the road from Andrew's house, right by the old world gym. That place will get you a hundred dollars every time. You need a J Jiffy Lube. Right by, yeah, yeah, exactly. Thanks, Brian Castillo. You do the same. Is that the is that the cable, or are you fucking wheezing? You're wheezing. The second time I heard that. <laughs> it just asked if you could do a pull-up. When's the last time you tried to do a pull-up? Since right before I had bicep hip repair. No shit. I, that, that was, I remember when you used to have that big thing on your arm, that big I was actually, yeah, I was actually what year? Thing. What year was that? 2007. My best shape ever. I tore the bicep tendon being stupid. Yeah, but you, you, still came, you still came to the gym with that big fucking apparatus on your arm. Yeah, I'm like Dale who gets into a nanny pammy little fender bender. <laughs> he's in fucking... A fender bender. He's in Yeah, that was some fucking fender bender. He's in traction for months. He just fucking flips a car into a fucking house and you call it a fender bender. Let's see the film, Dale. Yeah, how do we know that Let's was your car, it, Dale? Dale. <laughs> Let's see it, Dale. If we see enough filming you stalking animals from your safe perch. How do you feel, Dale? You gotta, you're not gonna stalk them, have microscopes and high-powered rifles, and stake it out, and then kill it. You're a real man, Dale. Why don't you go show them how it's done? Yeah, while it's done, just go to Publix Meat Department and grab a couple steaks. <laughs> exactly. That's how it's done. Exactly. <laughs> you don't well, like, I kind of think you don't like that lean deer meat. It's definitely subpar to steak I got at the store. But the point is, I think there's, he's out there with guys away from his wife or whatever. They're drinking, they're getting horny, and they're, they're having sex out there. <laughs> he puts on his camouflage, <laughs> and he uses that camouflage black makeup that they use to grease each other's asses. <laughs> grease. And Dale's ass is riddled with hemorrhoids from all those squats he used to do. <laughs> are you gonna, oh, you got to get more weight on yeah. that. Right. Of course, I wouldn't be surprised Dale takes a fist by now. He's so loose as a goose. <laughs> uh, yes, the taco queen is in there cooking. 
The kids should be here soon. So what are you doing after this? I'm gonna do some type of tricep extension and some... You wanna to try to do dips on that thing? I don't know if I'm able to. What do you mean? With my body weight. You think you'll tip it? Uh, no. Some, think... Actually, somebody did message me that, that that's, this one could possibly tip. So I just throw weights on the back, think... or I'll stand on the back if you wanna try it. I don't it. think I can do body weight, but I'll try. Well, I don't want you to hurt yourself. Inside. I'm sure you know plenty of doctors I could go to. <laughs> All right. You don't want me to hurt yeah, you do want me to hurt my sister. No, I don't, I man. I don't, I don't. Just like you wanted me to go all the way in there and go flying forward. You wouldn't have oh. Hey, I wouldn't make good meds, I'll give you that. You wouldn't have flown forward, money. That what is this, your last set? Uh we'll see how intense it is. All right. Remember, this is not my serious, serious growth cycle. This is sort of maintenance. So, and look how big I am, Dale. Little Bambi killing. Bambi killer. <laughs> yeah, you're a piece of shit for that. I might have called you a piece of shit. Hunting deer is necessary. They're, they would overrun the whole fucking country. They breed so much. They have to kill them. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> so, so why don't the Chinese just uh, somehow shut down? Why do you think? Why do you think once a, once or twice a year they have a they they get? So that's why you don't take up guns. Deer will be running the show. They'll be putting people <laughs> in concentration. You hear that, maniacs? <laughs> Brad says deer will run the country. I said overrun. So just, they'll, be, overrun they'll, be, they'll be everywhere. Be President Deer. They'll be everywhere, you fucking jackass. Do. Look, why do you think twice a year they go out to the Everglades and they have the, you get the license to go kill all those pythons out there? Because they, so many people have released their pythons That's when they bullshit. get too big. If they were such a problem, you wouldn't have to pay any money for a license to kill the fucking things. And they want to they use that as an excuse to make money. Right, and what do you think they make with the python skins? Exactly. Huh. But that, but I'm just saying, if it were benevolent, you wouldn't need to but pay But you don't, you don't care about them. snakes, you care about those pretty deer. That's for wolves and bears to eat because they kill them legitimately. Not like Dale Chump Chance. <laughs> There's a lot of reasons he kills them. And lack of manhood is one of them. CB. Merry Christmas to you too. Thank you. Sir. During this dark time of censorship, you misfits are far more important than you think. Well, according well, to you. Brad, the overrun of this country by deer is the most critical issue, and I suggest <laughs> it's not. I'm just saying they they're allowed. Brad, if you were elected president, you get overpopulated. Say about deer running the country. <laughs> <laughs> they got more brains than who's about to be in there. I'll tell you that. Okay, this one's from the same name I can't pronounce. I'm not even gonna try. What is the What's the name? John Smith. Noam. <laughs> Fuck you. This is Lenny. What are you? What are your best main lifts in your prime? I've done 600 for 30. <laughs> Actually, 405 for eight on the flat bench. 365 for nine on the incline. 315 for 11 on the close grip. 225 for eight on an almost perfect form straight barbell curl. 225 for 12 skull crushers. Squatted five plates, 495 for nine. Leg press over 2000 for about 12. Barbell road, five plates for 10, no shit. Rack deadlift at seven plates for eight. Uh, did the neck harness. Seven plates on each side. Yeah. yeah. Okay, gotcha. Three plates <clears throat> on the neck harness. Jesus. And a 190 pound dumbbell holding it across the front of the forehead for the front neck. And uh, calf raise seated, about four plates, 10 or 12. 
Shoulder press, 275 for nine, standing strip behind the neck. Shrug, seven plates for 12, which straps, of course. And hammer curl, 150 pound dumbbells, no shit, for a decent set of six. Too bad you didn't get all that on film. Yeah, that's the way it goes though, back in the day. That was, but what year was that, you think? Those were training with the Owlman from 1998 to about 2005. Those were when you did all your best lifts. Both of us, yeah. Meow Man, he did five plates on the bench for nine. So you were, th you were thir thir around 30 yeah, then. 20 yeah. years old now. He did five plates for nine in front of John Defendus, strict on the bench. Five plates for nine reps. Defendus looked at him and his almost eyes popped out of his head. Of course, Defendus, when Andrew told him, you know, Andrew did 405, for like 12 on the incline, Defendus would immediately said, I used to do four or five for 15. Oh, please. And I'm thinking, yeah. Used, like, used to. Yeah, exactly. So, been there, heard it all, but I can tell you this. You're one of the most intense. You're, doing, you're doing, yeah. All right. What I would have done. Thanks, I got But what I will say is this Adam McLeod probably has more intensity than most of the people I've ever seen. I mean, as far as, you're looking at a total all around cardio, <laughs> boxing, a little bit of lifts in there. You know, you see him with the cable, with the dumbbells. Very intense videos. And his eating is very, very strict. Although I would recommend he eat more carbs, but I saw he did that with a lasagna the other day, which is good, but I would recommend he fuel up for good tomorrow. You're paying very close attention to everything he's doing, huh? Yeah. You think you're fighting him. Hey, honestly, I was going to fight Jay, and believe me. Everybody at one point in time has wanted to fucking fight Jay. <laughs> you do not new. take Jay Masters lightly. I know everybody says, so what if he's big? So what if he's strong? Whoops. Uh, yeah, it has a lot to do with it. Not only that, aggressiveness. He, can, he shows intensity like an NFL lineman does when I see him lift. You need that type of, and by the way, we're rest in peace to Kevin Green, one of the greatest football players There's ever. There's only 50 fucking two? 58. Oh, 58. Very, you see he has the arms he has, the muscle. He would not muscle. I remember the time they were playing the, didn't he walk on it at uh, Auburn? College? Yeah, a fucking. He walked on at Auburn, lifting his ass off, and I'm sure he took PEDs, and rightfully so, they made him. That's why everyone should do PEDs at least to build up on, because you will keep the benefits from that for life. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, when I go into detail about the perfect way to train a young guy, and Chad Nichols is doing it with his son. How about not just lifting the fucking? Doing a skull crusher with the what? just the bar. Where the fuck is the weight, Lenny? Well, you gotta warm up those elbows. Warm up the elbows. You just did fucking tricep push downs yeah, over it's there. A different movement, Should but be. you don't you don't want your elbows to go. It's tough. What's that shit on the top of your nose? Right on the front of your nose. It's bruised. Yeah, I, I got a little. I'm a little rough. What? A little bit of grinding. Huh? Little bit of bumping and grinding, Brad. Did the girl bite your nose? Jesus no, Christ. No, she bro, fucking grinded her, grinded her fucking ass in the guy. Oh my God. Hard. Jesus I, Christ, man. And I helped it out. Look at that. Believe me. I just me, noticed that. I, when I get face it's, bru it's bruising. I thought it was just dirt. Yeah. I went cruising for a bruising. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Put your jolly hat back on. <laughs> I can't. It's time to get serious. <laughs> Johnny has. Where did you get this, Brad? It's yours. You brought it over. Here, talk to him for a couple of minutes. I got to run inside real okay. quick. She needs a hand with something. I hope I'm not interrupting your dinner, Brad. No, not at all. We, I got to eat late. Mommy, kill me. I'm, I'm all right, maniacs. No, you don't have to sign up. Just talk to him for a minute. Yeah. We'll take him to your home workout. Why not? Brad's going to get some beer. No, I'm not. And I'm 
still continuing the workout. We want taco queen face sitting, baby. You want what? You want one tonight? You want one now? <laughs> Just say the word, Brad. You guys will get men's Dexter tomorrow, I promise you. I promise you. Belfast, the home of the, the badass tough guys. Hopefully I can be there this year. Bombing in Nashville, I'm gonna check it out. Well, that's why we're signing their signing liability forms tomorrow. They want to see you. Maybe Brad will let you see her. I love Canada as well. Zilla will be there tomorrow. Freak Zilla. Man the camera possibility. I may do a live and I may, it's obviously going to be filmed too, so. I may get that live out tomorrow. So you guys can see it live. How's that? It remains to be seen whether he's coming. Christina, Merry Christmas in Milan, Italy from Big Lenny. And if someone could please send it to her. I'm still thinking about you, Angel. All right, Brad's back, and I'm ready to hit some heavy skull crushers. All right. Let's Anything good happen? I just want to face it in videos. <laughs> uh, RVQSX wants... Give us a rear double glute spread, Lenny. <laughs> yeah, I'll see if we could fit this crowbar. Guess what? Right. I had a girl tell me the other day I have no ass. Veronica told me that. She goes, you got no ass. No shit. Yeah, I pulled it down. She still said I had no ass. I think she needs sucks. She needs glasses. <laughs> and I hope she's having a Merry Christmas in the storage unit, by the way. Oh, Lenny. Lenny, Lenny, Lenny. Some tough chicks out there, and I'll say that. that. That is not, you see how the size of this hole? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like your <laughs> penis versus mine, that's what you said. <laughs> oh, you want to do a, a dick comparing? I want to do a, a dick rubbing video. <laughs> <laughs> you going to do a jack video like Jason? <laughs> <laughs> hey, brother, what, do you, what do you want, fives or tens? I'm going to show 25 minutes. Ten on it. I don't know. I know I'm too. Brad, I wish I Jesus, you make shit difficult, man. Brad, that's how bad it is. I can't even jack anymore. What? That's how bad it is. Why? We're gonna have to ask Leo. You got a dead dick? What, what are you running? That's make I thought you're just on test right now. I am. But it's just a futile waste of time. It doesn't want nothing. ER just asked, is Lenny still letting PMs into his car? No. No. PMs are guys that they look like men. Get it? Oh, Jesus. I don't like to call them Guys men. that look like men? Or like girls that look like men? PMs. Oh. Guys, guys that look like men. Yeah, that makes fucking sense. I don't know why you didn't just grab the fucking 25s over here. You're not very efficient with that. Okay. All because you can't fucking bend down and put weight on the goddamn bike. <laughs> Come on, bro. That, all because. It'll help, bro. Just, if you grab this side, I'll put this 25 here. on this side. All right. Watch how Brad does it. Thank you, Peyton. San Antonio, I was there before in basic training. Thunderstorms were pretty severe. And I don't like your scorpions either, if you get my drift. I got a drift of your black scorpions out there and it's pretty disgusting. And I stepped on a few and they stink. Just move that bench the fuck out of the way before you trip over it. I'm gonna just bring it over here. Oh, okay. Well, I'll put it right on the back. Well, why don't you just put it closer then? Brad, I'm going to change the label on this bench from pass you to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Valerie does have a, a cricket machine that makes like vinyl stuff. Yeah. You could probably 
I'll get her in here to put some logos on this shit, maybe. Look at you, you dipshit. Did you say get purple out way to put some lotion on your shit? On mine? Yeah, that's exactly what I just said. You got to do I think that's what the maniacs want. Oh wanted. my fuck. You want to pay a Brad now put lotion on your shit? I'm like, Brad, holy shit, Brad. Getting a text message that said the Cuban went to Spanish River Park and there's park rangers and it cost $20 to park. Guess who that text was from? What? That's what Jay just texted. What? Sounds like another excuse. Why is it $20 to park? Spanish River Park. The Cuban probably went to the Spanish River Park that's by the beach. Yeah. Is that the same? Maybe. So Jay's I was thinking making, there was, yeah, maybe he's right. I think he is right, actually. So Jay's making excuses. But you don't, you can park right, right on fucking 40th Street of Spanish River Boulevard that goes to A1A. You can park right on the fucking side and walk around. Somebody's trying to weasel out of this fight. <laughs> McLeod, get on here. Because I'm, I'm bringing people, getting up early. And if you knew about this, Adam, you should tell us. Same with you, Jay. If you're sending him over here. Yeah, it's worth 20. Who gives a fuck? 20 bucks? To pay the fucking... One, one car, though. Fill the car up. Who gives a shit? Everybody chip in a few bucks. Big goddamn... Why bill. do you have to pay you them in a cheap. fucking public park? You guys are cheap cops. No, that's ridiculous. Lenny, what are your thoughts on Kami Moa Zedong? You know he was a, he's a fucking devil. Everyone with their little red books, they tried that over here. Oh, yeah, we talked about that. I he's worse than Stalin. They call that the... What was that, the... What the hell did he call that program? It was disgusting. Taking out their parents and putting signs on them and beating them. Children. Children, 9, 12 years old. Oh, some, taking some, ch some children do need a beating. Or they end up... Well, they were doing that to their parents. Those who will remain nameless. Yeah. And then people taking their principal and making them eat nails. What do they call that? The great something or other. Which is what they're trying to call this. The great reset here. She said, park rangers will stop it. By the time the park rangers get over there, your three one-minute rounds will be done. I don't want to hear that shit either. Something's going on. I don't want to fucking hear that shit. You know what you do? You go by one of those uh, where they have the benches and the grills. Pretend like you're grilling some fucking food. You guys are just hanging out, having, you know, an early lunch. And there you go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At those parks, they all have, they have little, what, the gazebo or whatever. They have a bench. Then they have little charcoal grill right next to it. Just bring a fucking couple burgers or something. Cook something, and that's it. I don't know why it has to be in a public park. They could have it anywhere. Yeah. I don't know. I, I suggested Adam, too. Don't... You shouldn't you should never release the date, time, and where it's at, because then you got you risk one of these fucking ass wipes calling the police somebody, anonymously, and then somebody's it counting even on that. I want to get oh, to the hey, bottom. Maybe that could be true too. You got the, your, your little out. Martin Martin's Shaker XXL says shout out for Dr. Jill Biden. Jill. Oh boy. Make sure you watch your husband carefully. Because she is. She's with them all the fucking time. She's got to coach him through most of the stab interviews. In the back. They're going to stab him in the back. And I like how Joe Biden says, by 2040, white Europeans will be the minority in this country. And we are doomed. Now, yeah. he's right. But imagine if Trump said that. It'd be all over the oh, place. Forget it. And who's the big most white European I know is Brad. Say, say so thank think you. about that. It's almost a compliment to Brad. That'll be a minority? No, it's, it's you. You'll be doomed when you're people like you are the minority. Yeah. Because you've done so much to build the country. I've done so much. You, you know, people, <laughs> well, you've done enough to build the circulars. And they're the I'm, just circular a, I'm just a cookie cutter male prick, Leonard. Well, without you, Brad. <laughs> This country wouldn't wouldn't mean a damn thing otherwise. <laughs> Make any difference? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Say, uh, 
Thank you to Colin Noel. Thank you, Colin. Yeah. He left a super chat, but he didn't write a comment. If you guys are going to donate, or do a super chat, fucking leave a comment or question, something. I know you got probably got thousands of questions. You can think of something. Okay, here's one from Alex Kerstetter. Lenny, the red nosed Tom Platts of abs. Happy holidays, boys. Thank you. Red nose. It's more like the fucking purple nose. In my case, a brown nose. <laughs> Because when I'm right. making that pussy, I, I was, where do you think my nose is? <laughs> if my nose isn't brown, that means I've been with transsexuals. Get it? Yeah, we get it. What, so are, you, are, you, are, you adding, are you adding more weight to this? No, I'm going to just stick to another set. My elbows are a little... I'm going to try, and this is to enjoy this, uh -huh. to do a few unassisted dip reps which I'm sure Brad will get a kick out of. Just like you try to sabotage me on the calf raises. I try, forward. I try to sabotage you by, by telling you how to do it properly, you jackass. Go forward. All right, let's get psyched up here. All tension. Remember, I'm not taking any deck out like jail. I'm not taking any growth like Dale is. I'm not getting my elbows massaged. He's got to hold that rifle for fucking hours a day. Or what? Does he use a bow and arrow or a rifle? Do you know? He uses a freaking eye. What are those things called? I don't know. What? The, the, I just the, asked the, you the two Afghans different... for the Soviets as rocket launchers. What do they call that? <laughs> I tell rocket you what. Launcher. I, <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna get an AIDS infected needle and. Use my bow to, I'll shoot a needle in Dale's ass with full of AIDS. We'll give him a <laughs> Let him know what it feels like. All right, Saman Sala. Uh, Greetings, Saman. Saman, Saman Sala, Saman. Ha, whatever. Who would, who would win in a fight, Brad or the Lonesome Loser? I'm only reading next, it was a super chat. That's a good fight right there. Mm, that's, that's a good fight. I, I don't know, Brad is exceedingly strong. He, Type of times he grabbed me around the shoulders. He weighs over a hundred pounds. The mate. It's not even. It's. Well, no, it's it's not like it's you're doing an Oklahoma drill. You're wrestling him. You're boxing him. Yeah, but it's. You know, for a fact, back in the day, Mar uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler. I de I, de I would definitely rather box him than. Uh, uh, just an all-out, no holds barred street fight because he he bite my fucking balls off. Yeah, and he could, you know, <laughs> he's you could tell he's a, he'd be a dirty fucking fighter. Which hey, when you street fight, there is no there is no rules. So boxing definitely, you know, that would be the way to go when somebody outweighs you by that much. Is that much bigger? Colin Noel, there you go. He said, "Hey Lenny, tips for freaky forearms." You can do all the wrist curls, uh, I said, grips for you want, but deadlifts, hold on to the bar, not using straps, which is I'm sure what you were going to say. Squeezing the bar as hard as you can, which you should under heavy lifts, will build the forearms. Particularly moves like, a good move for, sure, for arms is power cleans. Well, I would, I would recommend going to Lee Priest's page because mm -hmm. he did an Instagram video a while ago. You'd have to look for it on how he... You got his forearms yeah. big and it, very good exercises. Remember, the taller you are, the longer your arm is, the smaller your forearms are going to appear. Yeah. But, and again, the forearms is very genetics. You've seen guys with freaky forearms and calves that have nothing else. Yeah. A good roll of thumb is shoulders. Very rarely, you'll have a wide shoulder, but not a genetically developed shoulder. Quads too. For the most part, if they're not a sprinter, doing squats, speed skating, whatever, your your quads and hamstrings will not be developed. All right, artist Belka. I listen to the Misfits podcast every workday. Well, thanks, man. Maybe we'll be able to do one again soon. That means you're smart. You're gonna learn something. You're not a cookie cutter. <laughs> and like, what are you gonna listen to? The average cookie cutter. I'll never, I'll never, you see those rappers, whatever they call them, 
Six million views, eight million views. Isn't that something? Are you, are you kidding me? I know. How, what do they offer you? I know. How the fuck could you even sit through one of their... I'm, I'm just, do they inspire or teach dead. anybody? I can, you'd rather look at porn. At least you might get a, an erection or some arousal. But looking at that and hearing that, and then nobody complaining about the money they make. You want to talk about somebody making a Patreon or something like that, where you're learning, you're improving yourself, you're interacting with fellow Yeah, they'd rather go buy these fucking shitty rap albums or pay for their that songs. Your cookie the fuck out of here. I'm sorry to hear that. Guy Gamer just said, Lenny, would you box Dale? Loser gets sodomized to assert dominance. Sure. Let Dale know too. <laughs> Fat little freak! <laughs> Lady. He comes with saying, lady, 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 lady. Here's him lifting. Lady, 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 lady. You fat little freak. Lady, lady. Dale is the ultimate motivator. Lady. And Adam's the ultimate badass. <laughs> Rianu Keeve says, Kill Mary S3X. Kill Mary fuck. Brad Pitt, Will Smith, Roseanne. Roseanne. <laughs> That's who you would what? Have her talk dirty to me while I jerk off. Oh my God. And maybe she could stick her fingers in my you know what. <laughs> I'm jerking off. That's all the all-time favorite of mine. All right. Harry Venable says, Lenny, you need to be forced to force-fed Prozac. Have you ever taken Prozac? Never. Me neither. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> all right. Are you going to do another set of this? Yes. I'm, uh, I don't, honestly, I don't think I'm going to get the Promion of reps. Unless you want to give me force reps from the bottom. Uh, no, thanks. You want me to get Taco Queen out here to help you? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? How about, I've been talking about it for years. Get Taco Queen with the belt. Three more, three more. <laughs> oh, you want, you want her to whip you? Three more. Where's she going to whip you? Just stay away from the kidneys. Do it, but what are you going to be, what exercise you're going to be doing while she whips you? Something I can get some reps with. All I'm right. Just not freeze. <laughs> Brad, you just, it's what I like about this is it's already a given. If you decide that she's doing it, it's like she has no say so. Of course she has a say so. She wouldn't give a shit about whipping you with a belt though. She'd do it. Well, it'd be the first. New, new one. Give him a treat today. Give them a treat. Give the maniacs a real oh, treat. She's cooking, dude. I'm not interrupting that. New one, 801KK. Thoughts on his, on his holiness, the Dalai Lama. What are your thoughts on the Dalai Lama? He's an overrated philosophical windbag. Windbag. <laughs> your goal, sir, is to improve the quality of life of your people. I don't want to hear about these Quakers that think they're <laughs> cool because they ride a horse and buggy Quaker. and they don't seem to adapt to any technology and they think that's godly or correct. You're put on this earth by God to improve humanity. All right, here's Use your talents to at their fullest. Not to be stuck in the 1800s and they still throw dead bodies on that mountain to die so vultures can pick at it. That's a real nice way of burying people, you phony fraud. The <laughs> Dalai Lama, the most interesting person on earth. He went to- Thanks for that question, man. He went to Israel and asked, I forget who he asked. I don't know if he was talking to Simon Wiesendahl or someone who was uh, one of the Nazi hunters, but he says, what's it like for a people to go through suffering? I wanna know, and if I would have told him, Having you as a leader is going through suffering, you jerk. <laughs> That's the one Mao Zedong should have threw him in a re-education camp. <laughs> and I don't like Mao. Chairman Mao. Fucking commie piece of crap. 
All right, Peyton Perino asked. Thank you, Peyton. Asked Lenny, when when you say you're using G, do you mean GBL or 1.4 but and dial? Well, I'm using the 1.4 right now. 1. Point, or legit G. The correct dosage. Correct dosage is key. Because what you happens? Need a normal what happens if you don't? You're gonna get a little temporary dirt nap, which is about you're gonna be not temporary. Dirt nap. Yes. Oh, you don't remember shit, right? No, and you're in a con you're, until and, and you're insane. Well, of course. And then someone's gonna call the paramedics, and rightfully so. I can't blame them. Yeah, get worried, All the times man. I've done in public, people are looking out for my welfare, which I, you know, I can't. What can I say? I mean, I would want that, and really, I can't be mad at them. But that's the problem. They're gonna shoot you with ketamine, which is worse. Then they're gonna give you morphine. And then you're gonna go be in an ER, paralyzed, but hearing these electronic things, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's Narcan or whatever they give you, but to me, that was hell on earth. You got, you got, most, you got Narcan last time? Yeah. I they, was most, but they intubated you too, didn't they? Yeah, but the most horrifying thing is, I'm hearing these electronic things in my ear. And like the time I was talking about when I saw the plane. It's, just the, it's the monitors that you're on, right? It has probably, to be, yeah. I couldn't speak. I could hear and I couldn't see. I couldn't see. Yes. And I thought I was on my way to hell. And then whatever it took, but I you, thought- You couldn't see, but your eyes were open? I, yes, I couldn't see. Get the fuck out of here. And I'm hearing you What was it, just like white? Black, pitch black. And you knew your eyes were open? I could hear. My eyes were open. Do your set. Let's go, this is a fucking hour and 15 minutes already. Good. Good. <laughs> yeah, it's 4.30. I'm gonna wrap this up. <coughs> Sorry to interrupt your dinner, Brad. No, you're good. We're not eating yet, but family's, okay. gonna, family's gonna be here soon. <coughs> your mom? <coughs> yeah, both. We, we were gonna go to my mom's, but <coughs> both my parents tested positive <coughs> for the COVID the other day. Well, so, according to Cloud, it's a death sentence, so you don't seem too worried. <coughs> yeah, they're healthy. <coughs> What else do you have to do? I think it's enough for a try. So I'll try to do a set now, but I'm just gonna do biceps and forearms. Holy fuck, that's another hour. Oh, you maniacs are loving this on Christmas Day. We all are. You just leave that weight on for biceps, right? No, I'll probably stick with some dumbbells. I mean, yeah, it's a good idea. I'll probably leave it here. All right. Ugh. Let's get a little hydration going. Sman Sala asked, what do you think of weed smokers? Not mentioning any names. <laughs> <laughs> well, control it and do it sparingly. I think on a daily basis, it's like anything else, it's gonna be negative. I heard some people have sleep problems on it. Hmm. All right, Peyton Perino again, I'm in the army and became addicted to 1.4 beaten dial. Be careful. Fuck you. Where'd you, where'd you <laughs> he said, be careful. I had to go to the hospital to withdraw and go three months of rehab directed by the Army. Well, the Army's brainwashing you. <laughs> I took more of that stuff than anybody. What the hell you got to go to rehab for? They want to see your back without the shirt. Okay, I actually had a shave on You're hardly shirt. sweating out, too. Look at that. 60 degrees, Brad. I know, it's beautiful in here, man. <sighs> What's that Kali muscle porch? Uh, 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 uh. Say PM. What? Just say PM. Yeah, what's he been doing? Who gives a fuck? Who <laughs> watch his nonsense anyway? Yeah. Somebody sent me that link to that video where he was cooking and uh, using some sort of tool to bash up cookies. He, he, was calling, he was calling your name. Lenny, 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 Lenny. He better learn how to Fucking mush, mush mouth moron. Because he sure as hell can't Fuck speak. that idiot. Fuck that fucking idiot. Father, so he carries. This is some light dosages here, Dale. All right, good, we got it. How about the front? Oh, you need a shave. Yeah, I gotta shave the front.
You gonna wear your Santa costume tonight? <laughs> I see Antoine Bayon had a Santa dressed up like Santa in the gym, and he had these red tights on. Oh. And he's shaking his ass. Oh my God, Antoine. You've loved every minute of it. <laughs> New one, 801 KK says, what's your thoughts on his holiness, the Pope? Holiness? Holiness? He's about as holy as Ron Jeremy. <laughs> he, he actually said that it's acceptable to use stem cells from aborted fetuses in medical use. Jeez. That's a pope for you. Keep giving him money. He's a devil anyway. Used to be a bar bouncer. That's great. Thing. Next thing you know, Rob Zell will be the pope. Walking <laughs> around with a... Is Rob Zell going to be there tomorrow? Yeah. No shit. I don't like these shit, the shit I'm hearing about. Uh, uh, park rangers and shit. It sounds like somebody's way out. I don't like it. Yeah. Uh, all right, Colin... I said, what were you smoking, Brad, on Leo's podcast? Flacca. <laughs> they call Brad CBD him, oil, that's it. They call him Waka Flacca. Waka Flacca. <laughs> Alex, that's why all those assholes in Fort Lauderdale, those punks, are smoking it because of that. Alex J said, Cali Muscle has been riding a skateboard on video. Do you look up to him now, Brad? <laughs> oh, shit. Why? Because he was copying that Mexican guy that did it. Yeah, and that no, Korean. Why don't you... Why don't you that Korean dog eater is about to go out the, the chimney. He's going to go up and smoke tonight. It's over in Germany. Everybody's he, got to co copy too. everybody else's shit. Yeah, because it's cookie cutters. Exactly. Why don't you copy my shit and do a tranny porn video <laughs> where she's sitting on your face? Then I'll be impressed. What do you think about that, pinworm Nate? All right. Do you, He's going up in smoke tonight. I'm standing on this thing. That's why I'm too fucking close to you, but go. Oh, shit. Nope. 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 Okay. All right. Yeah. Hey, you gave My it a try. I get three sets of it. That's fine. I get some biceps. All right. Shout out for... Shout out for Belfast ones. Big Lenny and Brad are legends. Hope you're all keeping well. Robert, Robert Rogers. Send the Irish flag here, please. Or send the IRA flag. One of the vintage IRA flags. I like that. Yeah. And the Confederate all the... Uh, Let's not talk about flags. Remember last time you had that flag in here. Here's and you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? That that live video when I when you opened up the flags. Yeah. <laughs> nobody recorded that. Normally Jeez. they normally they're able to record it. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> How excited it. you got was fucking great. I hate to say it. Here's a prediction. Remember this, maniacs. Five years. Guess what? The American flag will be censored. You'd have to use a BLM flag. Watch. Or they're going to adjust it. This old flag is going to go. Trust me. Well, the, they call that racist now if you have an American well, flag. Well, that's going to go. Fucking I hate racist. to say it, but it's coming. The vase. Guy Gamer. Lenny needs a brand like the Tiger King. How about the Tranny King? Can't spell it correctly or blah. Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> Would you let Christina Broccolini... Take you from behind with a strap on. Oh, I'd love it. As she asked. Although that's not what I like her for? Definitely. And let me tell you something, maniacs. This is for me to you. Nothing wrong with your girl sticking her fingers in there. Because she better. Or her tongue. What the fuck? And I had girls that insisted they'd only do it after they cleaned it, which is fine. I don't think you need an enema for that, but... <laughs> Play hard to little get. You're welcome, he said. And thank you. This live is Menti. Thank you both and Merry Christmas. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. Glad, Brad, it's all? No, play hard to little get was the guy. It's all because of Brad this uh, live is able to be, he's giving up time with his family to well, be able to They're all not here this. yet. If they were here, we would not be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't be more than half an hour, so I ain't going to go. That's fine. Well, they all like you anyway. Dumbbells are still, that area is too light. I don't want to mess with the adjustable. Thanks. Thank, Al thank Alvin. Lenny, thank you guys for returning Mints again. Sure. What are you trying to do now? There's only 175. There's only 175 for, I don't know how you guys lost it. No, I don't think we, 
You got two That's eight, a good question. but 85, 90, 95. Okay. So the lowest well, is two eighty five. I'm going to do barbell curls, and I'm going to do concentration. I'm going to do some incline dumbbell with that beautiful bench. But I'll start off with some old fashioned barbell, easy crawl. Okay, good. You should get some intensity going. I, yeah. Know, even though it's hot, even though it's cool, you should be sweating. Too much chit chat today, but that's because we're doing this shit. Exactly. But answer, you know, you can talk while you're doing yeah. You can't go all the way up? <coughs> Let me show you. Look, here's my range of motion. See, it's not even stuck in a straight look. I can't That's tell it, look. That's it. And this is the one that you had repaired? No. No? Needs a repair. Look, watch. Oh, yeah, you can see all the watch. scars in there. That's it. Is it painful? Or are you just... It is. Down here it is. It's just been like it's going to rip for 10 years. I wish it would because that's the only way they'll go out and do anything with it. There's... Colin Noel just asked, how many times a day and for how many minutes does Lenny brush his teeth? After every meal, I brush. If I take a pre-workout, if you're in a shake, I use a whitening mouth rinse. And you can make it one of your own, mix water with hydrogen peroxide and a big old mouthwash container. And that's just as good a mouth rinse as any. Yeah, I put a little peroxide on my tooth. Peroxide is the key. It's yeah, cheap, it, it kills yeah. germs. That's right. And especially if you're doing a lot of ass rimming or pussy licking, <laughs> it kills all the bacteria out of your tongue, your mouth. And if you're not doing a lot of ass rimming, you're not a real man. <laughs> and your girl, if your girl ain't doing it, she's not much of a woman. Yeah. I don't hear it's disgusting. I don't want to hear that. It's disgusting. I'll tell you what disgusting is when you spread your legs for a PM like it's nobody's business. That's disgusting. And you think it's cool. Cool. Yeah. Cool, that's a nice cookie cutter, John. This isn't, oh, fuck. You did it again, you dipshit. Yeah. Good fucking God. The fuck, what are you looking for, a five? A 10. There's two more tens over there. Okay. And there's, there's those uh, tens over there too. Oh. They're just, use the same ones that are on there. Here, hold on. <clears throat> Yeah, you're right, right? It's not even 60 degrees in here. Really isn't. Really not. I'm shocked. You don't think it's 60? You don't think That's a 30 degree drop from yesterday with no humidity. Yeah, no shit, I know. It was fucking hot yesterday, too. It's yeah. like. Well, last <laughs> night it rolled in. That's the problem. It's got Florida, real man. fucking windy. You'll get one or two days cool and then the rest yeah, that's gonna get and it's gonna get hot again. Yeah. That's how it all is. This will last. You're right, probably for three days. And the problem is, if you feel extra cold, and then when you get the humidity, you start sweating like it's summertime. Yep. Uh, K. Bry asks Lenny, are you on any gear right now? 250 milligrams of Scipion every Monday. That's it. That's for about the last six weeks. Test it. Every Monday. Very, very low dosage to me. What are your thoughts? This is from New One 801 KK. What's your thoughts on the Great White Hope Trump? The guy's a fighter. There's no quit in him. He expects me to. Concede, they tell him. Concede. Well, the other one I'm telling to concede out of the fear of their protection is out of the cloud. <laughs> he's just like Trump. Make sure they're on the grass. So if he falls, in, sure if, he, if, he, if he falls and he smacks his head, none of this. We, we, here comes park rangers. No, we're going somewhere else. Plenty of places to do it. Three one-minute rounds. We can do it on a freaking sidewalk. There's public, there's public parks everywhere. You should see some of the parks out here. They're fuck. You, please, you go to a fucking base, a baseball park. How about the places I go to get my dick sucked? <laughs> what on the side of a building with ants, Behind with the red ants crawling up your asshole? Man, I'll never forget that. Fire ants bite my ass. There was welts, mate. Uh, but Jornar, Merry Christmas from all the maniacs in Norway. Thank you. I love my Norwegian fans. By the Spirit says, who blew up a car, Dems or Rob? Let's Reps. talk about Nashville, Tennessee. I, I don't know. I didn't hear about that. Explosion no shit. Yeah. Uh, 
Hey, you met, you didn't talk. Well, maybe we shouldn't talk about that on here. We'll talk about it on the podcast. The guy you met at the uh, gym. Yeah, the proud boy. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, they should become the boys. Boys are reserved for a certain type of people if you get my drift. Just like Big Steve. I say, hey, boy, you got something to say to me. He goes, don't call me boy. Oh, is that you? When was this? When Big Steve. Oh, that was a while. Okay, I remember yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Big don't call me. Big me. Steve. Don't call Big, me. Steve. Me. Big Steve, the guy that you were uh, trying to oil up backstage. I blew, him off. <laughs> I blew his ass off the stage. He looked like a nap next to me. And he's saying, don't call me boy. Was that bother you? You don't tell people, don't write a check your ass can't cash, Steve, or should I say boy? You don't want somebody to call you that? Do something, I rip my tongue out. And if you're stupid enough to shoot me, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Why are you gonna get censored now? Why do you have that fool on your show? Ask uh, you know who, why he didn't have me on his show this week. Watch, oh yeah, Palumbo, what happened? Watch your ratings go down. I thought you did, I thought you did another one of those after darks last week. He didn't, I don't think he ever- Two weeks ago. And he didn't post it, right? No, and this week- Why not? I'm not on there. He didn't call you? No. Have you gotten your care package? No, and I saw the- Oh, that's nice. He uploaded what the guys did earlier. He what? It's up there. Uh, I thought you were supposed to be there once a week with them. That's what I thought. Mm. I was there waiting for it. And you still haven't gotten any goodies sent to you, right? No. Oh, that's nice of them. Way to take care of people you use for views. <laughs> Can't even send them some fucking fiber lines, Shots cookie, fired. whatever. I don't give a fuck about any of these jack-offs, dude. Get fucking break. Cheap cocksuckers. Well, I'm very careful. For what? Do I give a shit? He doesn't you pay my fucking bills. You jump in the bed and there's a bunch of uh, snakes biting you. <laughs> you get a package of snakes, you open it up and they all come out of there. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I have, there's plenty of snakes out here. I see them all the time. You should have a room like him now with a snake. Oh, no, room. man. So it should smell like shit? Remember when we walked into that building and it smelled like fucking utter shit? He probably Cause that whole low downstairs is filled with He probably snakes. has a snake shit on him. <laughs> well, he's masturbating. No, Noam Hem Fang. Lenny, why are you racist against PM, but let PMs dress like women humiliate you and broadcast it on the internet? That's an interesting uh, my, question. You want me to define that is a very interesting question. Just like I define days, because I'm specific. I say refer to, years ago, Chris Rock did a stand-up special about that, the yeah. difference. Go watch that. All right, let me get my set and I'll explain exactly all right. what that is. Merry Christmas from all the Tibetan maniacs. Enjoy Thank the you, Tibet. And next time that Dalai Lama's creeping around there, rip that dress off him. <laughs> see, if he, see if he has a vagina, which I predicted. The Dalai Lama, the source of wisdom. Lazy fuck, dirtbag, throwing dead bodies on a mountain. That's how you want your dead kids? Be eaten by vultures or your grandmother? They don't know the difference. They're dead. Who gives a fuck? Lift your, lift your weight. Let's All right, go. Brad. What are you gonna, you if don't... you happen to pass, I'm going to throw you in your posting uniform on top of that landfill down there in Pompano <laughs> and see how you like it. Get, bring, me to, bring me to the taxidermist and then the I'll, be, are, I'll be your statue in, yeah. your, in your house. <laughs> vultures biting up your shriveled testicles right off there <laughs> with your vasectomized testicles. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Vasectomy. Predatory nature of him 
can't have, trust them in your house, can't trust them in your store, can't trust them to work for you, anything sitting around, tools, whatever, taken, uh, in on this drug dealing, watering down, the, putting oregano and the weed and, and acetol and the powder, you get my drift. That's a PM. <laughs> now, <And> the powder, <laughs> because of the stigma attached to it and the overall freakiness, some of the women, some of the trainees could give you something that you wouldn't get anyway. So they provide a service. Yeah, but even not just trans, you're, you're more attracted to black women. You, you, you always have gravitated. Older ones. Ten years old. Yeah. You know, like, How many white? I mean, have you had any white what, girlfriend? Whatever. Ten, fifteen. Yeah. Compa compared to. Right. How many blondes? No, black. You know. Two. Two blondes. How many black women? Over four, four to five hundred. <laughs> Mostly in my twenties and thirties. <laughs> Spanish girls, probably 20 or 30. Spanish trans, probably 20, 30. Black trans, different ones, close to 100, which is a lot. Not recently. Yeah, it's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, I think so. But I never got ejaculated into it. Whoops, excuse me. Hungry father didn't hear that. <laughs> Jay just texted me a picture of his boxing gloves. Well, sad to say, I think they'll be sitting under that tree tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Are you coming to see McCuck beat me up? Jay, I'm, you're probably still in this live stream. No, I have to work. Another thing, you guys get that straight with this park ranger and stuff. I don't want to hear any excuses because I got people coming that are wanting to see this and they're there for now, hopefully everything gets resolved. People want to see it resolved. Figure it the fuck out. They want out. to see a handshake. Figure it out. They want to see a handshake at the end. Just do it. It's going to be, Adam is very adamant that it's 11 a.m. at that park. Is that a Freudian slip or uh, Adam. Adam is adamant? <laughs> yeah. So just go and that's it. You deal with uh, what, whatever. Adam is Adam ant. You can afford a $20 <laughs> parking and whatever. $20 parking? Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Take it up with the with the with the city. Now, what do you want me to fucking tell you? I'm gonna challenge one of those park rangers to a fight. How do you think they how do you think they pay pay for the groundskeeping? And cleaning up after assholes that go there and, and ruin the grills and leave their garbage everywhere. They gotta pay somebody to fucking clean up, so you know what that is? And it's out, it's right at the fucking beach. You, you know why it's twenty dollars for parking? Because when you park it at that park, you can walk right over to the beach. And of course, so it's whatever. Anytime it's there's a really not that big of a deal. That's they call it racist. Yeah, but if it's right across, from, say, uh, that's enough. But hey, listen. Yeah. If you have issue with park rangers, walk over to the beach. Yeah. Go box in the fucking sand. Exactly. You won't get hurt if you fall down. There's another solution for you. I don't want to hear any fucking bullshit excuses. That's it. Just no, go and I, get it done. We're not having it. We're not having it. Well, three, three total minutes or whatever the fuck I'm it's going to be. I'm people up tomorrow. What's, what's, how many minutes in between rounds if it lasts more than one fucking minute? How many minutes in between rounds? Yeah. One minute rounds and then 10 minute intervals or what? The fuck are we talking about? I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. You got talk fun. about my family. Say it to my face. All the drama. Keep it, I'm going to tell you too. You start saying that. You're starting to get phone calls. Mind. You're starting to get phone calls and shit. Fuck it. Phone calls from who? I don't know. Tell them to put it on. This, one was, to, a lo this was a local one. Tell them to put it on video so we can see what she looks like. And tell her to spread her legs before she comes on. So the man you guys can see her. You know that number? Don't say it. I don't know who that is, but they've been calling me a lot. I have no idea. Okay. You want to hear them? I want to put it on? They can hear it, right? No, I don't think so. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to fuck it up. No, you can't. I don't think it'll, don't it'll, it'll that translate is. onto this thing. But I've been seeing it multiple times. Probably fucking Bill. I don't know. What made you forgive Jay? Huh, Brad? He blow you. I didn't forgive him. 
Yeah, God, who the fuck knows? <laughs> you fucking text somebody? Because he, well, he, te he texted me. I don't text him. I don't respond to his shit. I... Right, we gotta wrap this up, man. It's already an hour and 34 fucking minutes. Okay. I still got a few more. I'll still be over 20 minutes. Yeah. Now, Pomp, I guess Pomps is watching because Pomps just said parking it. Parking is free. So, Jay, get out there. Make an excuse. Come on, Jay. Yeah, Pomp said parking is free at Spanish River Park. See, I was right. Uh, hold on, 100% positive. He's thinking of a different park. Like I said, there might be, I'm think there might be two different parks, because I'm thinking of Spanish River Park by the beach, and that is 20 bucks. There might be another park. How do you know it's, no, my, no, it's free pumps? Is that where you go over for some, uh, you know what, in the men's room? <laughs> <laughs> Some Saigon sucking. <laughs> I know you were in the prison camp and there was no girls there, so you had to do what you had to do, but don't bring it, don't bring it to the parks there, Pumps. You hear that, Pumps? Pumps. Stay out of those public restrooms. Did you hear about they raided that Lake Ida Park? And it was like 20 guys years ago, yeah. about 10 years ago. Yeah. They said there was a guy with a cowboy hat on that had to be beaten to be taken out of there. He wouldn't oh, shit. go. Well, you know. He had to be clubbed. Uh, Richard's mailman. Yeah. He fucking walked into that that park bathroom one day and he walked in and there was a guy blowing another guy. He was sitting on the sink and the guy was blowing him. <laughs> All right. Sounds like kids. Kids are here. We're going to end this live. Okay. Well, you see the boy's new truck? Just tell him don't park Check, it, check it out. Yeah, he's not. He's turning Good. Okay. Whose truck is that? That's his. Who's he? My son. What? Yeah, he traded the charger and he got that. Nice. Yeah, man. When is he going back? Gotta take care of the kids, Lenny. Wow. God, shame on me for taking care of my kids. Well, man. they haven't done anything wrong, so I guess you <laughs> He's a good kid, man. But if he's doing the stuff I do, you better put a chop to it. <laughs> yeah, he's not doing anything you do. You never know. All right, maniacs. Thanks, everybody. Again, maniacs yeah. and I'm gonna put a live on and then I'm gonna get someone to film it, so. Yeah, do a live stream from there tomorrow. And anyone of you are gonna come there, I don't see what difference it makes, but I wanna get that thing done. And thank you for all you've done, your contributions and your input. That's the most important thing. We learn from each other, bounce off one another. And I'll see you on the lives. And if you wanna give Dave Palumbo a DM as to why Big Lenny was in there, feel free. I've known him. Oh, towards him. I appreciate getting oh, him on. Oh, Dave's, Dave's uh, handler that handles all his uh, social yeah. media is going to have his fucking and hands Brad, I want to thank you for letting me come on Christmas as I'll be Dude, you staying are, by Lenny, my miserable hey, self. You are always fucking welcome here. You know that. You got the Thanks. keys. It's not a any time. All right, Manix, I'll see you tomorrow on a live at 11 o'clock. Merry Pissmas. <laughs> come on, Brad. God. Okay. Go open your gifts. I can't believe you said that. That's yeah. something the cloud would say. Yeah, Merry Pissmas here. Do uh, how do you how do you put this to save it? Do you know how to do it? You end it and then you post it on I your channel. Do this, right? I know. What do you mean? Why do you think I'm fucking asking you? Are you sure you want to stop streaming?